Give me a check and I fuck it up. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yo, wish. Oh, trying to fight back with another reaction. We got when dumb people get arrested at their jobs. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let's get it, man. From an intoxicated employee to a supervising thief, here are three times when people got arrested at their jobs. Starting with 21 year old. Man, you guys be so fucking stupid to still at your job. Nigga, you are there every day. And whatever the fuck you're stealing, they, they track. Sierra, an employee at a Chevrolet dealership who, on February 20th, 2023, what the fuck you still? to leave her workplace after being found to be intoxicated. Officer Cafroni was the first to arrive and was briefed on the situation. She was on the phone. Mm -hmm. and Don't tell me she stole a car. One of my other employees downstairs heard the person that she was on the phone with. Mm -hmm. And he stopped drinking while on the job. Mm -hmm. So we just terminated her like... Ten minutes ago is crazy. Okay. Wait. Oh, nigga, I'm stupid. I just read the video. Why did I think this was a different video? I might have that somewhere. I might have to. Mm -hmm. I'm stupid as fuck. Director Yeah, I'm the manager. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm like, bro, I thought when people get arrested at their jobs, bro, I thought I had a video to do that. After I just read the shit. She got arrested for <laughs> drinking at her job. I'm just thinking she stole something. I don't know why. Once the officer finally confronts her, the woman only took a first she acting like, at like, and continued like she still worked there. She was doing on the desk, but her nonchalant attitude wasn't going to let slide as the officer proceeded to question her. Hey, um, how may I help you? No, how may I help you? What's going on? What? Uh, nothing. I'm just trying to figure this out. Figure what out? Um, this. You don't work there no more. Get the fuck on. What's your name is? Nailina Diego. Melina? Nailene. Nailene? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any idea why I'm here? No clue. Do <laughs> you like to know why I'm here? Yo, she lit. That's your problem. What? Well, I, I know what I'm here for. That might be your problem, actually. Uh, yeah, that she... might be a business of yours. Oh, she... she... <laughs> oh. Be a business of yours. She not playing. She seemed like a sweet, nice lady. That's just drunk. But she just too drunk. She just called this nigga a pussy. The woman kept ignoring and even spoke rudely to the officer. <laughs> she called that nigga a pussy. And turned to the manager, who then tried to explain the situation. Interrupted. <laughs> saying something very hard to believe. Oh my God. She, she's a BBC. She works in the business. Yeah, BBC. What did you say? She tried to explain the situation, but was interrupted by the woman saying something very hard to believe. She, she's a BBC. Oh, BBC. Yeah, I'm also in law. I thought she said something. Well, if you want to take down my um, lawyer's information. Well, I don't want to talk to you just yet. You was yeah, just ignore yeah. me. Yeah, okay. So, so if she I was the administrator. Type of thing? Mm -hmm. with my... Yeah, that's her desk. Oh, uh, okay. So I want your ID number with you, your first and last name. So I can you talk gotta, to my you, lawyer. You're you going to get it. That don't look like that's a, not a good look. Um, you drunk. I'm 21 and I did paralegal like what a year ago. Okay, so what's your first and last name? Officer Cafroni from Myers Police. For a 21 year old, it is very unusual that she has graduated from law school. She would need a four year college degree and to take the LSAT to get into law school, which might prove to be difficult, especially since she was working a full time job. Later, Officer Barnett arrived and they both attempted to persuade the woman to leave. She really drunk. I am. I am. She in a different dimension. She thought she went to law school. My partner doesn't speak Spanish. Okay. Your partner doesn't speak Spanish, correct? So 
that means that I have to physically speak. Do you, do you guys have some what? To leave the property? Yes, yes, we did. And okay. then her mom was on the phone after I Yeah, my mom said that she was on the way. Her mom said she's not coming to pick her up. No, no, let me put my mom on speaker. You need to leave the now, please. Okay. Fuck is school? The fuck, what? Okay, so that means that you don't know my mom's name, so that means I have to get my mom on the phone. But I just asked you to leave. Man, she make my fucking brain hurt. We're, we're telling you you need to leave. You're gonna be trespassed. So I can't, I can't. She don't got a phone to call her mom on? Nothing? You can't go outside? Call my mom and ask her you don't, they don't want you to use your, their phone. Yeah, where's your phone? She's on some little kid shit. I can't have no one to come pick me up. Where's your phone? By ignoring the officers and then called her mom. There you go. Went to pick her up, but the call didn't go as you might think. Mommy, this is my mom. Oh, she's drunk. Hi, mom. So, tengo la policía aquí diciendo que yo necesito irme de los premises. Yo. <laughs> nah, she is yo. She gotta go. They don't know what they saying, but <laughs> nah, yo. She laughing, does she know? He coming to pick you up. Having insulted her boss and acting as if they weren't there, the officers had enough and then proceeded. How do you know she insulted her? I didn't hear anything where they even to do what they should have done in the beginning. I've had enough. We're going. We're going outside. Are We're going you outside. Me? Let's go outside. We've asked you to leave. Let's go. Grab your purse. We're going outside. Let's go. Just go outside. What the fuck you want to be inside for? Let's go. Let's go. Time to go. This bitch got the phone in her mouth. Okay, let's go outside. Okay, We've let asked me grab you to leave. Let me grab my purse, but do not there touch me. Okay, outside. But my lip gloss. Bro. Like, like, bro, what the is wrong We're, with you? We've asked you to leave. It's I'll time to go. That's okay. All right. Check out. Bro, this should be so stupid. They asked you to leave so many times and like. All right, all right. Put your hands on your neck. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. You can't call your mom, bro. No, this isn't resisting. This is resisting. This is not Stop. resisting. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not resisting. I'm literally so innocent. Dope. I'm innocent. This could have been super simple and you could have just left. Right. right. Look at my stuff. Look at my phone. Oh, this is Stop innocent. moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. What's wrong with you guys? Bro, all you gotta do is get up and leave. This bitch sound like a. This bitch sound like a low ass kid. I don't know what you were drinking, my dear. Yeah. What's wrong? No one's just drinking. She had been drinking a lot. Check that cup. Check that Wawa cup. Hey, miss, do, do me a favor. Do a sweep on that desk. Make sure doesn't nothing else that belongs to her is there. You know what? You know what? You guys. You guys. <laughs> This whole company, yeah, this whole company's gonna be sued by my law, bro. This whole company's gonna be sued. By your law, what? Come on, take me up. Take me up. <laughs> <laughs> that is, right. That is, take me up. But you guys are gonna be sued. Okay. She was finally arrested, uh. fired, and charged with disturbing the peace, trespassing, and resisting without violence. Trespassing. How do you get it with trespassing? Disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace is crazy. But trespassing? How do you get it with trespassing? Someone let me know, please. She worked there. I mean, I guess because they told her to leave.
But I thought trespassing is only like I don't know how that shit work. But unlike she, this woman no. who was caught intoxicated, this one was caught stealing in her workplace. This case involves a Castleberry woman who, on June 26, 2021, was suspected of stealing cash at her job. So the owner. See, I mean, I knew somebody was gonna be stealing. Maybe really people steal. That's the most common one, stealing. But don't steal for your job. That's the dumbest thing you can do. For real. Dumbest shit. Okay. Wait, she's she stealing money, right? He said money, right? Where we at? Seven forty. I guess we gonna find out. Not American spirits. The business owner, suspicious of her employee, decided to mark some bills that would later disappear. Anticipating oh. this, she called the police, who later questioned the woman. Hello. Hey, hey. I ain't gonna lie. Anticipating this, she called the police, who later questioned the woman. Hello. Hey, Hi. how you doing? Good, how are say, you? Catch me at police department. Yeah. The reason why I'm here today is because we got a call in reference to something. I was wondering if we could talk to you for a second. Okay? Yeah, of course. Is there somewhere we can talk to her? A few bucks are private or you can just go in the back. That shit's so corny. You just acting like you didn't even... Like nothing even happened. Why didn't you confront her first? I... All I was doing was trying to fix my bum. I thought I started my period and I had moved this girl's bag. I only paid her back because I didn't want anything to happen. I didn't want it to be put on me because. What you say about your period? That was shit was so irrelevant. I all I was doing was trying to fix my bum. I thought I started. I was trying to look for a tampon. My period, and I had moved this girl's bag. I only paid her back because I didn't want it. I was trying to look for a tampon because I started my period, and I moved this girl's bag. Where is this leading to? Where you stole the money? Anything to happen. I didn't want it to be put on me because I'm not that kind of person. And the way she was talking to me, like it felt like it was gonna be. Who was the she? Was it your manager or Kevin? No, it was. Um, what? It's making a party that I guess she had messaged me, and she said like, "I saw you." My heart pounding. Know. The young woman seemed extremely nervous yeah. as she had no idea what was going on. You can tell by her body language she nervous as fuck. Reason, as she mentions a different case in which she's involved in. Yeah. The officers then tell her that she is being questioned about something else. <laughs> she was talking about some a whole other shit, writing herself up. But that's not necessarily why we're here today. We're here because you're being accused of theft. However, the theft is not in regards to the person that was So she stole something else. She's a thief. Bro, how could <laughs> maybe these ones that be looking like that? We have a manager um, who advised us that there's only one manager there. I thought, right? Of your other coworkers, who advised us that they left a certain amount of dollars, very identifying marks on that. Her heart dropped. That's how you know you caught. If there's marks on that bitch, it's easy, easy evident. What you gonna say? You put the marks on there? Okay. So she also has the receipts. Damn. The opening of when the door was open, what exact time? How much you take though? Where we're at right now is uh, I can't, I can't promise you anything, mm -hmm. but for me, and I'm sure Officer for us, same thing. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. So, could you tell us anything about that? I did do it. I respect that. I respect that. She kept it a stack. That's all you can say. You respect it.
I mean, either way, she caught either way, but she could have lied, made it harder. I respect that, bro. A lot of niggas would have lied. Niggas, I'm talking about. I respect that. I'm having some issues with money right now. Um, I just like. It'd be like that. Car, so it's, I haven't been working lately. Um, I will admit to that. So. Was it just today, or has it been in the past? It was today, and then I've done it in the past before, but never like large amounts. How much would you say? Probably like. The woman surprisingly confesses to stealing from her employer over the past month and even that same day. But the thing is, why would you buy a new car if you're having money problems? Maybe she didn't have a car. She didn't notice the markings on the dollar bill and kept on stealing from the register, Damn. thinking she would get away with it. All right, do you mind, do you mind uh, coming over here? Apparently, she bought a new Louis purse, too. That bitch is Louis Vuitton. Unless it's fake. I already have all the pictures. What do you need a picture for? Can you identify these bills? I'm just seeing Jay so far. Damn, bitch, how didn't you not see a J on there? A J is so distinct. After the boss finds out, she's then asked if she wants to press charges against her. Her disappointment is clearly visible. Yes, I do. Because I added it up. Damn! Guess what? It's not 10,000. If it was 10,000, it would have been a felony. I'm pretty sure. You're breaking my freaking heart. I have the documentation in my car. I wasn't prepared to turn it over because I was trying to rule it out. But I'll show you what I was preparing for my insurance company. Damn, seven thousand. It's, it's, it's well over what she has here. I was hoping she would show it all. Show it all. That shit gone. You think she's gonna have the seven thousand in her just sitting in there after over the month she stole it? You just as dumb as her. What you took this morning and you didn't. So no, hey, I'm not gonna sorry. Making, that's making that contention. Here the officer finds out that the sum she initially stated was a lie. And now the amount, it's around $7,000. The police officer... I mean, she's not keeping track, right? ...even more money than they already had in her bag. There's more in there? all from this business? Seeing this... They God damn. Her and ...put her under arrest. And here, more shocking truth is revealed. See that off paper? You can just look at all of it. You can have it. Um, and that 22000 doesn't calculate No. Oh my God. This bitch is going to jail. She stole twenty two thousand plus seven thousand. I actually came in because I was planning on just interviewing her. Right. She was not originally who I thought it was going to be. I was very shocked. I, I got it down. To yeah, she seemed so soft spoken. Don't look like she was stealing anything. Just, I ruled out everybody but her and another girl, yeah. and I actually just thought it was the other girl. To be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. But now looking at all this evidence and the time clocks when she was here, it all lines up. The total amount she took is nearly... Oh, yeah. Never mind. Spoke too soon. $25,000. God. And that was just in the first five months of the year. The woman was booked into the Seminole County Jail on a $5,000 bond and faced up to 15 years. Oh, my God. Felony so charge. Given one year probation. All things considered, she got lucky to only get probation right. for stealing that much Wait, I thought... money. Although this particular employee was caught because of a sting operation, this one was caught in the act and on camera. And it looked like he's stressing. This is Alex Barrett, an Amazon worker who was not only accused of taking items from large automated supply containers, but also... You dumb as fuck. This nigga really stupid. That nigga really stupid. From their factory sealed packaging and then hiding the empty packaging. Uh, Apple Airwalk. Uh, that went missing. Okay. Uh, Damn. We investigating it. We found him responsible for it. So what he did was he reached inside a, uh, a pod, took the item out, ripped the package open, and concealed it in his pocket. 
I see. In the course of the uh, interview, he's admitted to uh, taking three boxes of uh, Apple AirPod Pros in addition to what we have. Uh, he's providing a voluntary statement. Uh, he does have one of the uh, uh, items on him now at his workstation, so I can actually get a manager to bring his backpack down and everything. Um, so we'll recover those items today. Is he reselling them, bitches, or what? He does have on him. As deputies made their way into the sprawling Amazon West Mesa, he took that off. was when security walked them through their investigation and how the crime was committed in a place where every item is tracked at all times. Yeah, that's what I mean, especially at Amazon. Like, these niggas, that when they get, it's these type of niggas. They don't got a job, right? Or they have a job that's not good. And they finally get a good a, get a good ass job, and they just fucking ruin it. Fucking ruin it. We did this very long video talking about the importance of buying Amazon, but y'all have another associate come over, and the associate will reach in his pocket, and then they'll do a hand to hand deal. Hmm. So I mean, there could be drugs involved. Um, Damn, this shit look crazy though. There's a whole bunch of fucking shelves moving and shit. Barrett is what's called a picker, responsible for transferring merchandise from a large, never-ending supply of containers. Hell no. Nah. Yellow-colored plastic tote bins. Where the shit low-key low fun though. I ain't gonna lie. For shipping. It's probably boring as fuck though. Definitely opened that package, but he didn't. I didn't like know what kind of came out of it. It takes him a second it as it gets towards the end of the video. Uh, is when he conceals it, so go reach back in there. Takes a while working that package. Yeah. Um, and he's so got he's back at it now. It looks like yeah. he's working it some more. Yeah. I think this has been pretty, pretty really good. Personally. Then he even gave him props. <laughs> he said, "I think this is really good." Personally. Maybe. But you gotta know there's cameras all around. And they track it. Right there. Right there. That's the concealment. Yep. Up there, show me you're there. The deputies closely observe as Barrett blindly carries out the disappearance of an Apple Watch along Damn. with a couple of Apple Watch. That's a good. I ain't gonna lie. That's a good steal. With the AirPod Pros. Pairs of Beats earbuds. The deputies. Beats really? Look, you ain't. If you be selling that shit, you not getting shit for that. Fucking beast earbuds cost about like eighty dollars now. Then confronted Barrett at the job site and tried to get a confession. I don't know. He said, "Am I going to jail?" Confronted Barrett at the job site and tried to get a confession. I don't know that. I absolutely don't know that because, like I said, I don't know what's going on. Okay. What is he looking at? Okay. What was it? Why is his eye so wide? Okay. Like the wireless one? Mm -hmm. How many uh how many items? Damn. Okay. Were they all the same item or different? It's about like four hundred dollars. Five hundred. Actually, maybe six hundred, okay. cause them bitches like one forty, one twenty. And there's four of them. No, nah, it's about like five. Resell them or close to it. Okay. I'll be honest with you, I do really need to know, is, like, when did it, was it yesterday, or, no. it was today? No, no, no. Oh, months ago? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Finally admits to swiping a few pairs of earphones and selling some of them. I am fully against any type of crime, but when people make bad choices, sometimes encountering folks like this cop can make all the difference in the world to help really learn the lesson at hand, especially when Amazon probably didn't even notice the difference. What'll happen is I'll gather information from them. Um, we'll probably see you out of here. Um, you'll, you'll be released and you'll get some, you'll get some paperwork in the mail to appear for it later on. Um, that's best case scenario. If what you're telling me is true, I want to take you at your word because I think you're, I think you're telling me the truth. Um, oh, so bro, just getting released. That, that's what would happen if, if they tell me like, no, he took something today, like recently, that would change things. 
I would have to take you into custody. They did let him walk free that night. Damn. That would be the last time law enforcement saw Barrett. The 34-year-old never turned himself in, and there is still a warrant out for his arrest as he faces one count of embezzlement. During the and they got the fuck on. It is evident that Barrett regretted his actions, but it is also quite unfortunate that he would choose to disappear. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, see that's a stupid thing. You already caught, and it's not like I don't know how much. Uh, I don't know. You already caught, bro. So it's like there's no way out of it. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. If y'all like this reaction, you want me to do more reactions? Let me know down in the comments, and I'm gonna catch y'all niggas in the next one. Man. I'm out. I get me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up.